The Who. Who? We, wait, we are not doing this again. They're called The Who. Who? I am telling you, they are called The Who. Who are they? They are called The Who. Not, not the old band, The Who. The H-W-H-O. The Who. The H-U. Huh? Well, hello there everyone, it's Sunday, you know what that means, welcome along to Trains in World 3 on your Sunday for your second dose of chill out. And we had English commuter yesterday, let's have American commuter as we go to the trains. And the American commuter we speak about is the Long Island Railroad in the shadow of New York City and we are going to do... Uh, we're going to do this one in number 5, maintenance manoeuvre, some M7 uh, at the West... Side yard are due for routine maintenance. Take the empty stock over to the depot at Hillside and prepare them for servicing. So, grab your ticket, get in line, shell them here as well to have some fun with you. I think it's time to go to New York and I think it's time to go play with the M7. Yeah, for the first, uh, for the first time in my life, I've been told to tone it back. <laughs> and uh, you, oh, hello. Right, I see the thumbnail straight away. All them in a well, they're not in a line. They're not in perfect line, but they're uh, scattered. They're scattered a bit, and you got the Long Island uh, background in the in the. How am I gonna do this? How 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 are we gonna do this? Yeah, we'll climb aboard when we're ready. No, we climb aboard when we damn feel like it. Exactly, well, when we damn feel like it. I, I say there, that's going to be our best, I think. Yes, because we want the thumbnail first. We want the thumbnail first, and there is your thumbnail, right there. Bosh. Thank you very much, Bosh. Uh, and we're going down the wrong way there, it's this way. We are? We are. We are, we are going down uh, the wrong way, it's down... This is our train here. By the way. What? What day is it? Why don't you do it for a change? It's Saturday? Nope. It's Sunday. <laughs> See, this is why I do it. It's Sunday. You know what that means? Yeah, it means you messed up big time, pal. It's whatever day it is you're <laughs> watching this. <laughs> exactly, yeah. For, for us recording it, it's uh, Friday. For you people watching it, it's... Well, it uploads on Sunday. And No, uh, you want to be precise. Today's Friday yeah. the 23rd of June. It is, and why can't I get on this train? Maybe it's the wrong train. No, it's the right train. There's the ladder. It's not letting me on. Oh, is this one of the ones you have to get on at the very front? Ah! You gotta get on. Front. You gotta get on the very front, yes. And then you gotta get in the motor cabin. Like that. Like that. So, today's job, we are here at Long Island and we are going to the maintenance depot. Because it is time for this unit's uh, yearly checkup. Now, I think we call it F exams here. I don't think it's F, I think it's uh, another letter E or D or something like that. It's definitely an early letter in the album. Or B. Yeah, or B exam. Because they have different exams for different uh, yeah. types, don't they? <clears throat> but uh, they just call it maintenance over there. <laughs> eh, what we're going to do with this... Uh, put it in for maintenance, that's what we'll do. Over here, oh, we're going to put it in for an exam. It, it, it's going to get to the um, facility and there's a test paper there. It's going to write out the test as, as it's do, getting uh, its health and safety checkup. <laughs> it's like, what speeds are you allowed to travel up to? Whatever bloody speed they bloody feel like it. It doesn't really matter, does it? Do you run on diesel or electric? Pick one. <laughs> no. Do you run on A, diesel, B, electric, C, both because you're an anarchist? Or D, none of the above? Or E, battery power. That's what, that comes under D, you dimwit. D for dimwit. And that is the letter D, which also stands for dimwit. <laughs> oh. Today's episode of Trades in World is brought to you by the letter D. <laughs> Make sure you get your daily dose of D every day. 
<laughs> and not Sully D. <laughs> and not the D you're all thinking of, which implies that you all bend over and take it up the A. <laughs> 37 times. 37. Oh, God. Oh, you had to go there, didn't you? Well, Lisa didn't actually say it this time. Yeah, that's true. You, but we know what we're thinking. We, you, you got me into trouble last time. You got... That absolute F-bomb tirade got me into trouble. Well, I, how can it? It technically hasn't gone up yet. It's on YouTube. Well, it's, it's, on ready, it's ready to go. Well, you got it edited. No, no, no. What I did was I put the unedited one on there first. Yeah. And uh, YouTube came along. Ah, ah, ah. You can't say them words. Ah, oh, they did. Ah, ah. Yeah. You, so you got me into trouble. Thank God for editing. If you ever drop that many words <laughs> in a row again, I, I have had it on good authority. You are losing cheerleader privileges. Fine. You will be on your best behaviour. You will speak proper English and not... So, instead of fuck, Simon will now go... Oh, my. <laughs> and instead of sh shit, Simon will now go... <sighs> poo. Exactly. Which means you can't say any naughty words anymore. I was half expecting you to come around with please go politely fornicate yourself with a sharp iron stick. <laughs> no. One shall fornicate themselves if they don't like it. That's that just uh -huh. that just sounded gay. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't take long, did it? <laughs> is that really? Uh, oh, this this must be a uh, NYP, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it must be Penn. So we've come from the depot outside Penn. And we're going for... I think it's Hillside we're going to... Oh, we got to go... we got to stop at Jamaica, come on! Why, man? Well, I don't know, man, but they said we, we can expect... Uh, we can expect uh, traffic to build up because we're going into Jamaica on our shower. Even though it's at four in the morning, man. Mind you, New York City is the city that never sleeps. It, this is very true. It's like... Oh, hello. 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 Into the darkness. Into the darkness this M7 goes. It's going to come out of the other side like the Hobbit. Precious! Where's my precious M3? <laughs> oh dear. Me. I should point out as well, we're actually recording this. I've just come back in from a trip to Burton. Uh, and Simon is prepare preparing or prepared? Not repaired yet. You, you, li you leave in six hours. I'll get it sorted, don't worry. You leave in six hours and you're not packed? No. You haven't even started yet? No. Is the answer to that question A. Stupid B. Insane C. Ridiculous D. All of the above Or E. Go and F 37 Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. Please nope. make your selection right now. Don't worry, I'll get it sorted before then. I know you will. That just shows your dedication to this channel. Because then he disappears for four days, which means I get to record loads of F1 23 content. Technically, I've got five days to do it because I've got the Wednesday as well. Yes. Yeah. So I'm back at work. You're back at work. So all i got to do is get races prepared and then when they're prepared the Saturday uh, I'm back i.e. the 1st of July I can go and just get on with it oh uh, before you go I would like the thumbnails for Wakefield and Airedale done if it's possible please okay shouldn't take you too long it's just the the train station thumbnails I want. I don't want the um, the vlog thumbnail yet. Mainly because I haven't decided what the vlog, vlog thumbnails are going to be yet. I know it was like this morning picking the um, next thumbnail for my blog. It was like, how can I put a title in? Oh, I know what my thumbnails are going to be. 
for the uh, for the Airedale vlog. It's going to be a free free one, and a, I think I've got a picture of a free free one of the free 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 next to each other. And I, I'm going to want me in there. Some I don't know what reaction I'm going to give, but the title's going to be "Can I Avoid a Capsivity?" Or bash captivity equals forfeit day. <laughs> because I did do very well that day with uh, avoiding the captivity. Oh yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> we we got all these stations done, and then cross flats, the penultimate station before Saltire. Here comes a civity. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Yeah. Oh, oh you only heard. Um, that that's a civity is I didn't even need to I wasn't looking right I took the photo blind as well I just zoomed it in because uh, the zoom past the uh, the bridge as it was, actually wasn't too bad so I just uh, zoomed it in and took the photo blind I didn't didn't look at it it was uh, still recording and then all I heard pulling up was and I was like, that's a civity, isn't it? And then you, well, I won't say the next words you hear, but uh, we can't say oh those. Oh my. <laughs> um, not quite. <laughs> gosh. <laughs> it may have... Although, uh, gosh, that is a different train. Yeah. <laughs> that, uh, that, something like that, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, seven and a half miles to Jamaica. <laughs> Not Jamaica, we have a bobsleigh team, it's Jamaica, New York, man! Oh yeah, you know what I found out? What have you found out? Well, uh, there was this article about Glastonbury. Glastonbury, yeah. Because that's coming on as we're recording this. Yes, it is. And I found out how much the price of a 500ml bottle is. You know what we were talking about yesterday, because we were talking about... Well... In one well, of the recordings we did yesterday, In one of the recordings yes. we did yesterday. I can't remember which one it was, it was uh, probably about one the prices of... Um, like a bottle of fizzy poppy like Smith's and the railway station. Yes. Well, Glastonbury's a bit extortionate. Oh, I mean, what? 500 mil bottle? I mean, they're what? One pound something in Poundland, two pound something in WH Smith. If it's more than three quid, I'll be surprised. Fiver. I'm sorry, I must. it must be my old age. I think my ears are blocked. Could you repeat that again? A 500 mil bottle of Coke, five pounds. Five pound. Yeah. Is the is the bottle made of gold? Is is, is the content in it considered highly treasurable? Possibly. <laughs> Are you implying that there may be something within the bottle? There could be. There could. We don't know. There could be. We just. Uh... But no, five pound for a 500 mil bottle. That that's extortion. That's ridiculous. That that. I heard one of our phones vibrating. I think it was mine. Well, I'll soon know. It's all right. While I was uh, on the bus back, I was having a chat with one of the uh, one of the other drivers. Five pound for four five hundred mil bottle. Ridiculous. Oh my god. The problem is though, there's nowhere. Nearby, is it? Glastonbury is literally in the middle of nowhere, yeah. So you've got, you've said, in fact, let me go find where uh, Glasto is. So, in other words, you've got to pay for what's there, and that's it. Yeah, or take your own stuff. Glastonbury, there we go. Uh, Glastonbury Festival, there we go. And the Glastonbury Festival is smack bang in the middle of nowhere. The skateboard park? BBC News, I like how it has, oh, there has the pyramid stage there, so this this is definitely it. There's the camping area, oh, glamping area, sorry. Yeah, the nearest place looks like in the village of Pilton. So you got to walk to Pilton. you got to walk to Pilton, but even then, there's, there's nothing there. There's a pub, which I bet they're loving it right now because they're making an absolute killing. Why can't you call it the Pilton Festival then? Oh, come on. I mean, come, do you know how sad, how ridiculous? Hey, we're going to Pilton this year. No, you Glass go to Glastonbury. Just sounds posh. It does. We should go to Glastonbury one time. 
So yeah, no there's, chance. There's nothing in Pilton. There, there is literally there are no towns or anything around. What is the, I mean, the nearest big city? It's, the nearest uh, town is Shepton Mallet. No, 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 no. The nearest Wells. Where's Wells? Oh yeah, the city of Wells. And you tapped on Wookie Hole. <laughs> Which shows a hey, dinosaur. Those dinosaurs. That's not bad. Yeah, the city of Wells. So that's um. Yeah, there's. I see our Wells. I see Morrison's. I see Waitrose. I see Tesco's. And wh where is that compared to Glastonbury? That, that you also is... recognise Wells from a movie. Why? What the city of Wells is in the movie? Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Simon's about to factor us here. But five quid for a bottle of water, that's a j I mean, a 500ml bottle of anything, that's a joke. That is a joke. That is a joke. I mean, I, I came back from Burton today. Especially in this world at the moment. I came back from Burton and I spent 75p on my two cans today, which have subsequently been drunk. Try to see where the best place is. I think. I recognise that square. Yeah? I recognise that square. Uh, we were watching it last night. I recognise that square. They used wells to film it all. They used wells to film Hot Fuzz. Yes. Jesus. Except... Except when they had a Pendolino going past the Chiltern Railway Station and then had a Chiltern 165 pretending to be a Pendolino. Yeah, that makes sense. Movies and trades just don't make it accurate. What was that uh, station again? Denham Golf Course. Oh, was that Denham Golf Course? Denham Golf Club. Club, sir. Yeah. Denham Golf Club, sir. That was the, uh, the one. Uh, let's just do that. There we go. It was one six five double oh five that passed. It Some, wasn't five; it was eight. Something like that, wasn't it? Yeah. Six eight seems to be around uh, a lot um, recently. Still four miles to go to Jamaica. So yes, so Hot Fuzz was filmed in Wells. Yes. Now uh, that, uh, as soon as you showed it me, I recognised. I thought, yeah, you, that's that's uh, Hot Fuzz. That was, although to be fair, I think that was a slightly watered version of Hot Fuzz. Last Ho night. Last night. Hopefully the movie tonight is the watered version. Jennifer Lawrence, Red Sparrow. Yes. Cracking movie. Absolutely cracking. Anytime you got Jennifer Lawrence doing Russian accent, you know it's going to be a cracking movie. Don't you talk about Soviet Russia. I will come out there and poot in your ass. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, was there something you wanted to mention about Glastonbury yeah, right. as well? Yeah, I suppose we could uh, tie that in, couldn't we, about uh, about Glastonbury, because um, one of my uh, other brothers is down, was down there doing um, the shuttle services from Castle Carey Station, I think it is. That's the nearest one. Yes, because any train that comes in, anyone goes to Glastonbury has to use Castle Carey Station. They do, yes. Unless, of course, they're making their own way there, yeah. but then... You can use where, but uh, if traditionally Glastonbury is Castle Carey. Speaking of, how close is Castle Carey to Glastonbury? It it's got to be far. I don't know. But um, he's but doing no, it's the... a nice, quiet station except for that part of the suburb. Yeah. When it becomes absolute. absolutely busy. Yes, absolute busy. They, I don't think they put any extra trains on as well, did they? I think they do. Oh, they do. Whether they uh, start at X and finish at X like they normally do because that Castle Care is on the uh, the Paddington Plymouth uh, Penzance route isn't it in fact we could check now because we get pulled real time up can't yeah, we yeah Castle Care is between uh, Froome I don't understand why it's called Froome when it's spelled F-R-O-M-E that's Froome yeah Bruton <laughs> Bruton his name is Bruton <laughs> Yeah, West Bowie and Castle Carey it's between. Yes, it is, right. Castle Carey, here we go. Let's have a look here. Castle Carey. Castle Carey train station. There we go. It's 170. Oh, it's actually not far. 
it's not as far as I actually thought it was. There's Castle Gary. Yeah. And there, the, uh, where, where is it? There's Pilton. So it's what up the three seven one. Yeah. Down the three seven six. Are you there? Sorry, up the three seven one across to the three six one. So it's got to be what about? Uh, you probably made that a 10, 15 minute. No, t- uh, let's call it 25, 25 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. But no, he's doing the uh, the shuttle runs because uh, National Express have got them uh, this year. The shuttle runs between uh, Castle Carey and Glastonbury, and he's making a pretty penny from it. He's took um, one of the Electro Cities down. So for those that don't know what an Electro City is, it's essentially a bus that I'll tell. You, I'll put a photo up now of an Electro City. It. Its official name is the BYD K10 Alexander Desi Viro 400 EV City, but because it's an electric bus, it's been dubbed the name Electro City. Or in Tico's version, that bus it's a load is, of swearing. Yeah, in Tico's world, uh, we can't say the words that he wants to say because Tico's probably turned the, the airwaves blue. Yes, yeah, so, oh my. <laughs> Effing buses. Effing. I've, I don't know what he actually says. Um, yeah, you, I've heard it. You don't want to know. <laughs> you really don't want to know. God, all stupid buses. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's much worse. worse. It's more, much worse than that. Trust me. Uh, yeah, yours is the pre war Do you get back to making your bed? It will be your bed if you're not careful. It's... Yeah, it's pink. It's just your bus kind of bed. One of our other brothers is trash talking us while we're recording here. Thankfully, you can't hear him. You can hear us, so we we can translate what he's saying for you. Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> oh my! I seem to have uh, annoyed the riffraff. So yes, yeah, so. But yeah, normally he's um and he's I think he's making something like twenty thirty pound an hour, something like that. Fuck me! Oh 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 yeah! But rail replacement driving can, uh, or um, doing shuttles can earn you an absolute bomb. I mean, when Stagecoach took the um, the shuttles for the Commonwealth last year, they were making roughly the same, and they you should have seen all the buses that they brought. Literally, all the buses that they brought. And all the drivers as well. And how much do they make regularly? How, how much do they, uh, I think a bus, I think they're on about 11 something, maybe, maybe close to 15 an hour. But he's making sometimes double his money. Hmm. Depending on the, depending on what he does. And there, there's probably going to be a day where he's doing nothing, he's going to be getting paid for it. Probably just like sod it. I'll go to the festival. Yeah, you'll probably be like sod it. I'm going to the. F- I'm going to watch Elton John at the Pyramid Stage. <laughs> I can just. Ima- I can just see him. There- there's everyone else rocking, jumping up and down on the pri- the Pyramid Stage, and there's this one guy in a National Express uniform. He's just standing there. The same music. <laughs> <laughs> he- he- he's probably waiting for the Red Hot Chili Peppers or. I, what do the kids of today listen to? I don't know. Who is playing at Glass? I know Elton John's headline in the Pyramid Stage. His first ever... He- I think this is actually his... Uh, his first ever headline. And he's calling it a day after this as well. Because apparently it doesn't get any bigger than this. Headline at Glastonbury. And this is the guy who's... Um, sang at Princess Di's funeral. Princess Di's funeral. He's sang <clears> in... <throat> he's done New York. He's done all around the world. And he's going to end it at Glastonbury. And they have been in movies as well. Oh yeah, he's been in movies. Oh look at that, that's a nice uh, photo of Jamaica the one, um, Station. Especially the one... Kingsman. Kingsman, yeah. The uh, second one. Golden Circle. Good. Which you hear Elton John swear a lot in that movie. <laughs> yes, you do. What do you do to me, you dumb bitch? <laughs> <laughs> who was the who played the bad guy now? Oh, I've got, I forgot the, her name. Julianne Moore. Julianne Moore. That's it. Yeah. Just to hear El- that movie is just worth the price alone. Just to hear Elton John cuss out Julianne Moore. How how did anyone keep a straight face after that? You have got El- Sir Elton John just in a jail cell, and he's there. Fuck. Yeah. 
What did you do to me, you? I can't say that one. <laughs> and it's like how she just stands there, it's like, still carries on. Yeah. Or professional. Absolutely. Absolutely. Which the second movie does also feature Glass and Brie. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Yes. I do. do. Uh, what was I checking then? I was checking something then, and we got completely sidetracked. Oh, Glastonbury. Who's uh, playing at Glastonbury? Yes. Uh, Glastonbury this year. Glastonbury 2020. Glastonbury lineup 2023. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, oh, good lord. Here's some names to remember. We've got um, Cat Stevens. Bloody hell. Cat Stevens, Elton John. I've heard of Lana Del Rey. Lizzo, Queens of the Stone Age, I've heard. Ben Howard, Maniskin, The Manic Street Preachers, crikey. Faithless, I've heard of Faithless. Fisherman's Friends, Alison Goldfrapp, Becky Hill, The Who? Who? The Who? Who? The Who? Who? We, wait, we are not doing this again. They're called The Who. Who? I am telling you, they are called The Who. Who are they? They are called The Who. Not, not the old band, The Who. The W-H-O. The Who. The H-U. Huh? <laughs> we are not doing that again. They're called The Who. Get on the next one. Yeah. Uh, Will Young's there. Carly Rae Jepsen. The Damned. Ike. Rudimental. The Chemical Brothers. Khalees. Gilbert O'Sullivan. Alt J. Chasing Status. Steve Earl. Katie B. Uh, Frida Ridings, Mel C is gonna be there. Crikey, we've got some uh, we've got some names here. Andy C, the Court of the Years, Jacob Collier, the Sword Doctors, Third World, Mike Skinner. Oh, I know who Mike Skinner is. Mike Skinner is uh, the Street. You know that song back uh, England. Dry your eyes, mates. What what that became the anthem for England uh, getting knocked out. That was him. Yeah. Uh, Skepta, Dave Seaman, Jody Badass. <laughs> what no, a... it's Joey Badass. Oh, Joey Badass, sorry. That, that, that just sounds like, uh, you know, we were talking about mafia names. Yeah. There's a, there's a map, Joey Badass. I'm going to get down. I'm going to have you dealt with personally. I'm going to have you dealt with by my most loyal man, Joey Badass. <laughs> no, hang on. So have you met my colleagues? Johnny Elbows, Joey Badass, <laughs> and they're here because they're here to knock the shit out of you. <laughs> that is, uh, that is. Was it Johnny Elbows? Yeah, Johnny yeah. Elbows. Yeah. Uh, Lizzie, Gabrielle Alpin, DMX Crew, Sophie Ellis Baxter's gonna be there. Ooh, there's a nice bit of English, all right. Posh English, all right. Um, there's a lot. Lovejoy, Camel Fat, the Lathams, Mahalia. Joseph, Warpaint, Caroline Polachek, Xavier Rudd, the lottery winners. They're probably going to have the lottery winners. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know who they are. Vintage Trouble, Far From Saints. You're going to have the lottery winners. Oh, there you go. That is perfect. You'd have Vintage Trouble and Far From Saints following them. <laughs> that sounds like a horse race. <laughs> that does sound. Earl Sweatshirt. Earl like a... Sweatshirt. So you have lottery winners out in front, followed by Vintage Troll, followed by Far From Saints, followed by Earl Sweatshirt. <laughs> followed by what the hell am I doing to announce this? <laughs> followed by something, followed by another horse, followed by another horse, followed by we just don't care there's another horse. And bringing up the rear is the magic numbers. <laughs> and bringing up the rear is Findus. <laughs> what? Findus? Findus. You remember the horse scam? Oh, no, no. Do not, do not go down this road. Do, no. 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 You are putting the brakes on that one straight away. Nay. <laughs> Who else have we got? No, seriously. Richard Thompson, Gaz Brookfield, Glenn Tilbrook, Maggie Lewis, Pete Tong. Oh my, oh my God, there's some letters that really shouldn't be. Oh my God, here we go. Uh, Katia Zamologikova. <laughs> I don't know who they are, but who she is, but uh, Zamola Jakova. Uh, Joanne Shaw, Taylor, Fortet, Steve Hillage, Frill Collins, The Big Moon, Thundercat, 
Tiara Wen eats everything. Eats everything? Eats everything, yeah. There's, some, there's someone going there going called uh, Eats Everything. Carl Cox, Cave Town, Newton. I've heard of Newton Faulkner. Japanese breakfast. See, now that should be on. Uh, we have Eats Everything and Japanese breakfast follows them. Oh no, Japanese breakfast should be on before Eats Everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Japanese breakfast should be on before he eats anything. <laughs> um, dear me. Um, oh my God. Ho nine nine oh nine. What? Ben UFO. Sean Lakeman. Near archives. Subtract. Fever A. Scream. Daniel Avery. I think I've heard of him. The Teskey Brothers. Slow drive. Free daft monkeys. Half of these I've not even heard nor of. Nor me. Nor me. I haven't heard of any of these. It's like, where up. did you get these guys? Did you just get one from W.H. Smith and say, do you want to be performing at Glastonbury this year? <laughs> you want to be an interesting day like Japanese breakfast or something like that. <laughs> Glenn Hazard, Cam Cole, confidence man! We're going to have uh, superheroes there now! Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's confidence man! Keep it up. Yes. The Blessed Madonna. Oh my God, the Blessed Madonna. Not the Madonna, but the Blessed Madonna. Uh. Aliona, Aliona, Pale Waves, Alton Russell, Gavin James, Billy No Mates. There is going to be someone there called Billy No Mates. <laughs> Where? You know what Billy No Mates is company rhyming slang for, don't you? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he's on right before rumor. Billy No Mates is on right before rumor. <laughs> Alison, uh, sorry, Ariel Free, you and McGee, Vicar, Shame, the Comet is coming, really? I didn't realise the Comet was coming. Did you know the Comet was coming? See, that's what happened. The Comet is coming should be on before Billy No Mates. <laughs> <laughs> or, or no, Billy No Mates should be on before the Comet is coming. <laughs> that's how that uh, should, should work. Uh, I have a clue how you pronounce that. Uh, VTSS, Giles, Say she, she, Ross Wilson, Rue Payne, Sam Devine, Holly Cook, Flo and Joan, Leroy Thornhill, Fanny Lumson, Cara Dillon, Alabaster de Plume. I've never heard half of these. No, mate. I think we're getting into names that we really don't. The Gentleman's Dub Club. See, now, this, this should that stage should have itself, right? You've got the Gentleman's Dub Club, they're followed by Billy No Mates, and then the Comet is coming. That's how that should work. It should always work like that. It's like the game. DJ Yoda's gonna be there. Ooh, music I play. <laughs> Glastonbury, you shall. <laughs> do or do not. There is no music. <laughs> Cake's the killer. See, see, this guy's right. Cake is a killer. <laughs> but, yeah, I think after that, there are names that uh, I don't uh, recognise here. I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna attempt to want that one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Deptford Northern Soul Club is gonna or the Beatles Dub Club. They're, they're gonna do Beatles song and dub to it. <laughs> That's just uh, Tom McGuire and the Brass Holes. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like it's. See now, no, no, no. Comic name. Tom McGuire and the Brass Holes should be on before Billy No Mates should be on before the comet is coming. There you go. <laughs> That's that's how it. Uh, or no, the Beatbox Collective should be on before Billy No Mates. <laughs> that's how that uh, should work there. Or no, 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 Kimmy Beatbox should be on before the Beatbox Collective should be on before Billy No Mates before the comet is coming. There you go. That's how. Uh, uh, yeah. After that, there are names here that I have never heard of in my life. Where do we find? How these many guys? people have got singing there? The Spice Boys are going to be there. Really. I didn't know. Uh, oh my god! How many? There's loads. We would be here all day. There are. There are loads. How many acts are here? How many? How many acts are playing at Glastonbury? That's ridiculous. I have no. Oh, Arctic Monkeys are going to be there. Apparently, I didn't see the Arctic Monkeys on the on that list. But there's like Might loads. Be a surprise one, I bet. Yeah, but yeah, there's loads of this half of them we haven't even 
hers off. Exactly. I mean, obviously, we'd heard of Elton John and Sophia oh, yeah. and Spexter and uh, whatnot. But we're here at Hillside, finally. But we haven't heard of the names like Billy No Mates. And well, that's because he's on before the comet. He's coming, mate. That's why. That's why you uh, you haven't heard of Billy No Mates. He's on. He's on before the comet. He's coming. He's come right after the beatbox collection. I bet they just got a bunch of randomers. It's like you, you make you make good music. Do you want to appear at Glastonbury? You with that work in that pep shop. How good's your voice? Good. Can we call you Billy No Mates and come to Glastonbury? Yeah. That's, that's probably how it's uh, how it all works. Let me just sort this oh, out. That right. is a long list. This train will not be stored on one track and therefore must be broken into smaller segments. Okay. Okay. So what are we uh, what are we do? We gotta to head to the cab indicated. Okay, we can go now there better not be anyone in here. We have a habit of uh, picking up people that are still in this cab. Still in this coach, and it doesn't look like anyone is here. No, it looks like Egg Boy's off. It does look like, well, we were empty anyway. So yeah. That, that door just hit us in the face. Yeah, it looks like, i tell you what, the interior of the M7 looks very nice. It would be an interior I'd be interested in trying out. Very commuter-esque, isn't it? Oh, yes. It does. This it, is how a commuter train should be. This is how it should be. Are you taking notes, uh, Greater Anglia? Ah, this is our cab. So what are we doing here, then? Uh, we're going to sit there, okay. Now, what would you like us to do? We're going to turn the key. Hold it. And it's uncoupled. Just like that? Just like that. Now we've got to go, I assume, back to the other end then, yeah? So that's how it should Why be. Why do you speak of commuters? I have seen the um, scenario for the gloss-up line with the... Which uh, we played last uh, last yeah. week, yeah. We played it last week, but we have seen it before we played it. Yeah. And the one that we are going to do, which is already done... Yes. ...is actually only 20 minutes. It's only 20 minutes, but uh, somehow I think we'll make it last a little bit longer. Oh, yes. But it's... Um, uh, no, 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 no. Interesting. It's interesting. Yes, right. The next uh, should be stored on the transfer track four. You will need to set your own junctions. Well, we always set our own junctions. Actually, there's just one thing that I do want to mention with that. What? It's when I checked, looked at the uh, preview. Yes. Because they were acting like the guard. Uh huh. And after they closed the doors, they set off. Uh huh. But there's one thing that they forgot to do. Uh oh. Which is like. Uh, Matt Pedersen, is it? Yeah. You idiot. Did he... There was one thing he forgot to do. Okay. It, do you know... Go on, then. Do you notice every time when a train departs, they always look out the window? Uh, no, because either nine times out of ten, they then go sit on their fat ass and do nothing. No, no, sometimes they look outside the door window they use at the back. And then they sit on their fat ass yeah. and do nothing. Well, he forgot to do that. But you really can't. You really can't on the, that. Some do, some don't. Yeah, you do. I've got a water blister. There we go. I haven't got a water blister now. There you go. That needed to be uh, eradicated. Right, so we've got to go down into Hillside Head Shunt and then I assume back into uh, Transfer Track 4. Transfer Track 4. That sounds like someone who should be playing at Glastonbury. Trackside Track 4. Does though! Well, no, because sometimes you even see if the... you've got people there like Billy No Mates and bloody the Beatbox Collective and the Comets are coming, surely someone like Hill Hillside Headshot and uh, Transfer Track Four are going to be at Glastonbury at some point, surely. But no, that it... sounds like the kind of thing uh, Martin would listen to. That he would listen to the Red Hot Chili Peppers. It is the Transfer Track Four. Well, no, especially some of the older trades. Sometimes you have them head out the window when they're leaving. Yeah. That. Yeah, you do. You do, but uh, on the newer trains, most of them are DOO now, aren't they? Not quite. Well, the Greater Anglia stuff is... Well, apart from the seven... Uh, apart from the flirts. Apart from them dirty flirts. I'm going to look forward to when I go to Cardiff. I wanna, I'm looking forward to them dirty flirts. 
I think uh, the routes that I do, the first route I did do all dirty flirts. The second route, it's all sprinters. So uh, yeah, yeah, I've got some, uh, I've got some fun. There's gonna be a train uh, passing this in a minute, right? Transfer track four, so, which is there. So what's the bet? We gotta go past that. Uh, so I think we gotta switch that, and we yeah. Uh, switch that and then everything else is good and golden after that. That's good, that's good, that's good, is it? E not quite, there we go. Perfect, right, transfer track four. Back it up. And that's the station next door, is it? Yeah, that's Hillside uh, Station right there. It kind of works like, um, oh, what's that one um, down south? Alexander Palace? No, um, uh, the one outside Southampton. Redbridge. Yes. Kind of works like Redbridge. With the freight. With the freight, yeah. But uh, this isn't a freight train, this is a met this is a commuter train. And uh, we now find out these M7 units are only two cars. Hence is why there's about five or seven of them put together. So there you go. Today you learn. Yeah. That's where, that's where the more you know comes up, isn't it? <laughs> We should find the green screen of the more you know and uh, put it in there. I need to get uh, a photo. My, I know, no, I've got a photo of Electro City. I can, uh, I can pop up. And that's the point because also in today's uh, world, they see just order two car coaches. They do. But I think so. I know there's um, arguments that oh, it's two cars and whatnot. But you can put yeah. I think the order that a certain company with two car orders. Is going to be is a big proper order with uh, the civities. I'm yeah. fairly sure of that. But yeah, two cars don't really have places. It needs to be more. That that's why I'm hoping when uh, cross country's order for the civities goes in, and they're one nine eight, they've got to go four straight away. If they go anything less than four, three they might be able to get away with. It, but if they go two down the two routes, forget it. Yeah. What what was the point in ordering two car civities for two car turbos? No point. But of course we've got to wait because they haven't put the order in yet because they need to see what's happening with these Meridians and the uh, the rest of the Voyagers that uh, Avanti are getting rid of because yeah. they were earmarked for cross country but now everyone else is uh, poking their noses in. Including Scott Rail with the Meridians. Yeah, Scott Rail. If Scott Rail have the Meridians, that's it. That is it. Because the... now people will do why Scott Rail want the Meridians. Well, it's only rumours at the moment. Yeah. But it's because Aslef wants to get rid of the HSTs. Yeah, but we want to get rid of. We want to tell Aslef to go and fornicate themselves with an iron stick. But uh, we can't do that, can we? But in fairness, though, they. Even though we like the HSTs, they actually do have a point because what happens at Stonehaven? I, I, I that um, that tweet, uh, yeah, with Stonehaven was uh, yeah. was tragic. It was um, because not... there, there were a lot of factors at play that day, but um, yeah, look, you can't blame any yeah yeah one set. It, there, there was a number of factors which which led to that, which which, which was uh, unfortunate. But... Also, what the outcomes is, they realise that, hang on, the HSTs are not, um crash, crash uh, worthy or...? Uh, they, they're not crash resistant, I yeah. think. Yeah. They're, they're pretty, uh, they're pretty poor, as I say. But that's not the HST's fault, that's just... No. That, I mean, you got to remember those, they were built in, what, the 70s? Yeah. And plus, if they were not crash resistant, right, why weren't they retired after Lagbrook Grove? Or was it South Hall that the really nasty crash um, on the Great West? It was even one of the two. Was I can't remember which one. I think it was Ladbrook. It Grove. was. I think yeah. it was uh, Ladbrook Grove as well. But uh, why weren't they retired after that? That was the perfect time to retire them, but they didn't. So there must have been some use to them still. Mind you, when was that crash happened? Ladbrook Grove was 98 around that. Because I think, didn't Ladbrook Grove happen? And then either a couple of years before or a couple of years after Hadfield happened? With the, the 91 set? Yeah. The, uh, 2000, 
I think Great Heck was 2001. Gr I know, Great Heck was 2001. Hatfield was... Hatfield may have been the same year, you know. Yeah. Because it was pretty close to, to Ladbroke Grove. But, but no, going back... Um... So, Aslef wanted to try and find a way to boycott the HSTs. Well, they don't want to boycott it. Basically, they gave them ultimatum. Look, basically, you give us a date when you withdraw the HSTs, or we're just not going to ride them. Yeah, but then, then the problem is you're putting the pressure on the train companies to buy new rolling stock. Or get new rolling stock and, lease. And, you, and in today's market, I mean, look how long it's taken Southwestern Railway to get the 701s in. And it's, it's three years it's been, and they're still not ready. They're still not ready to replace the 455s. I mean, okay, you need, what, a good year? A year and a half, probably, to yeah. really bed those uh, new units in to make sure that they're, they're good enough. And you're telling me that, oh, you, you're going to give us a date. Well, we haven't ordered that yet. Don't care, you're giving us a date. That's not how it works. Imagine you, right? You went up to your pe your boss at Asda, right? And you you turned around to him and said, "Right, we need um, new shelving." Yeah, for 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 uh, a certain section, but we need it now. And you he turned around and said, "Well, we can't do that. We got to order it." And you're like, "Well, we don't care. We need it now." And, they, and then he turns around and says. Look, you just have to make do with it for now. But you're you're insistent, and you're saying no, it's got to be done now. There's only one outcome to that, isn't there? Yeah. And that outcome is. Well, you either get disciplined or sacked. Yeah, exactly. That that's the only outcome there is to that. There, there's no other outcomes to it. You can't put pressure on a train company to get new rolling stock in when there is practically no stock available. I mean, look at Grand Central. They're struggling badly with the 180s at the moment. And we mean badly. So with bad. Them. So bad. They're having to bring in some Avanti Voyagers to help them out. Yeah. And those Avanti Voyagers are meant for cross-country. It's because... No, um, speaking of um, Aslef, the RMT, that tweet I uh, put out got the desired effect because here come I told them that it's just turned into petty point scoring now you blame them they blame you you blame them you blame you they said this they said that blah 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 it's just petty point scoring now grow up and be better here come all the fucking as left um, sorry here come all the uh, S lickers it's oh but it's the government it's the go who cares who it is you are both as bad as each other! Mm. When was when was the last time you gave a shit about a passenger? I think people just need to get in a room and sort it out. It properly. needs sort this this is why I turn around and say I do hope Labour get in, right? And then I want Labour to stab the RMT and Aslef in the back. Cause then we can turn around and say, well, oh right, well you voted you wanted the Conservatives out. You wanted the Conservatives out, and now look what's happened. Labour have now done it to you. So it's obviously not their fault and it's obviously not anyone else's fault. So who's, who's at fault? That that would just be the icing in the cake. By the way, we don't vote. Because we, we come with the um, provider. Whoever you vote for, you're screwed anyway. Because someone always gets bent over and... Yeah. Yeah. Uh... But that, that, is, that is the problem with today's... It's like over in America, whoever you vote for, you're screwed either way, aren't you? If the Democrats get in, they'll do something to yeah. pee off Conservatives. If the Conservatives do get in, I think that's who that... No, it's the Liberal... Who is it? I don't know who it is over there. It's, it's the Democrats. Republican? Republican, that's it. That's it. If the Democrats do something to annoy the... Republicans, the Republicans get angry, and if the Republicans do something, they'll annoy the Democrats somehow. That's just how it is. Anyway, it's... scenario's done. Scenario is done. So next week, I think it's Rhyme Rule Austin. Let me check. Uh, yep, yeah, it's Rhyme Rule Austin. 
next week, uh, next Saturday. F1 back tomorrow. I'm now off because we've recorded literally loads these last few days. I'm going to go and have a rest before I record even more tomorrow on my own. He's going to go and have a break in Scotland. Jabby sod. Aye. I suppose, though, how you go to Scotland, you should get the last word, uh, sees how you go to Scotland, shouldn't you? Bo Quimby. Who? 